Hello and welcome to another episode of Casting Judgment. One last member here today. James, James is not here. <laughs> James is not here. He's he's at a a, a family dinner. His old lady's uh busting his balls. <laughs> <laughs> True that. That's, that's what you're gonna get if you don't if you don't show up. You're gonna get you're gonna get mocked some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. His opinions uh, not good anyways. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, we we're kind of going back and forth uh, with some topics, and uh, we got. I think we kind of have a couple different topics that we're kind of wanting to talk about today. Uh, some stuff that we kind of want to mull over and uh, talk amongst each other. I think uh, kind of one of the first topics that we want to get into for this episode is the um, the importance of like plot and storyline in anime. Yeah. It's, uh, so, Jonathan, what are you yeah. saying, man? Uh, you know, like, what does it mean to you? Oh, <laughs> what does it mean to me? Uh, storyline. That's it's one of those things. Like, let it, me, can, let me, it can easily make or break a show. Me, I let me, mean, let me ask you this, dude. Like, is the storyline more to you more important than the action? And like character design and like uh, artwork and stuff. Artwork, no. <laughs> action, yeah. I think I could live without the action as long as I've got a decent storyline to follow. I, I mean, get, that's like yeah. TV series. So you got to have a storyline, right? I mean, I guess it kind of depends on which one like you're watching. Like, uh, like Fate Zero. Like, I'm I know you guys have not seen it. It has like uh, it has little action in it. it. Has it has action, but it's not as much as like. Some other anime do, but I really like the storyline behind it. Just or in in like the how you say the artwork with like the their moves and stuff like that. I, I really I really enjoyed it. But and also like Death Note, like Death Note, like there's really not like a whole lot of action considering it's all based. Death Note's the def- Death Note's definitely like a thriller. I anime. would say that. Yeah, I would say I, what I mean. What I mean by action, I mean like fighting and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I, I, I don't know. How would you define action? De- yeah, exactly. Like, like Michael Bay, you know, like, like, <laughs> like explosions <laughs> and like, yeah. and like sound effects and crashes and stuff like. That. I mean, that's that, that. I mean, that that's what I feel like defines, you know, like an action anime. Yeah, it's like a uh, overabundance of violence, anything like that. Like, I mean, when you're watching like war movies, right? You got shooting. That is action. I mean. You don't see many animes that are out there just like, oh, here, let me shoot a gun at you. It's, but oh, I will say this: I think older anime have way better storylines than these new anime do. Like, you I think, think so. Th- yes, I think new animes like their storylines are garbage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> give me, I, give me an example. <sighs> All right, like I don't know, Hunter x Hunter. I don't, I don't really like, I don't really like the, I don't know, I don't really like the premise behind it, really, or like. My Hero Academia. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. But I feel like My Hero Academia is just like Sky High. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I really Sky think High. it's just a cartoon that's, version that's of Sky That's an old High. reference. <laughs> that is. <laughs> but, that dude, is. I think about this stuff. I mean, like Dragon Ball. I like Dragon Ball has a good storyline to it because it talks about how them going to find the Dragon Balls, like the Journey to the West. Dragon Ball Zero doesn't have a lot of storyline to it, but I like the action to it. And I really like the old, like... Drawing like not like the HD they have now. I really like the old how you'd say uh care like art style. That's, that's what yeah. I'm yeah, for. Yeah, art yeah. I really like the old art styles better than the newer art styles. But I feel like there's they have more emotion. Like to me, a good storyline or like good plot and stuff has drama, like despair, and like uh, a lot of emotion. Yes, like Full Metal, like Full Metal Alchemist, the original. Like I love how it showed like. Like the really despair and like tragedy and stuff. I love that, dude. That to me, that makes a really, really great storyline because it gets you hooked into it, man. Oh yeah, I and, love it. I'm, and that happens really early. So it's like it's like if something tragic happens that early in a series, it's like okay, well, if it can happen then, what happens later in the story? Yeah, I gotta know what happens later. In the like story. I do like storyline. I, I do love the plot and stuff. To me, that's a great plot when it has tragedy. Like uh, drama, a lot of emotion into it. When it doesn't have very much emotion, it's kind of—I don't know, man. It's just—it's whatever, dude. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it—it's—it's it's dull. It does. It does make it dull. Like, like I say, full. I like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I really do. But regular Full Metal Alchemist to me, I like better because it, sh- like, it shows when they bring their mother back, dude. How like 
when she comes back, all she wants to do is just kill them and stuff. And you can like tell, you can tell they don't want to kill their mom, dude. That they still love their mom, but the fact that they don't even she don't even care about him anymore, right? When they're homunculus, or like starts about Scar's backstory, like when his brother is dead, and him him trying to get revenge and stuff. I mean, it's there's a lot of like I I I like that, or like Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer is a kind of newer anime, but it shows like uh well kind of a spoiler if you haven't seen Goblin Slayer. <laughs> it shows like uh why he goes out when he goes out and kills these uh, goblins. Like it shows like his sister being raped and killed while he's underneath the floorboard of the house watching it happen. Like to me that's that's tragic. I mean, that's that's a lot of emotion going on. It shows you why he has so much hatred toward. I mean, there's yeah. so much like zero to ten real quick. Yes, dude, I like that. To me, that's what a good plot is, or a good not plot. I would say a, a good storyline. You have to have some kind of tragedy or something into it. For sure, to you have to great. have something, to, something you know, to hook and reel in your audience. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I mean, you look at the newer, like you had mentioned something about the newer anime that they don't really have too good of storylines. They're they focus way too much on their art style. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to draw. Oh well, they're seeing this and capture like in these clips and they're like oh well that looks really good and they see oh well fight scenes that's awesome but then they go to watch the show and it's like what what's the premise like i don't understand where's the fighting i don't i don't like it if it's not gonna be like that i think a lot of like uh, it just depends on the anime you watch some anime are built around the storyline and some anime are just built around action oh, it, yeah. i mean it's kind of like a it's just pretty much all what you're going to go watch it really but to me, I, I do like a storyline, but I do like shows that have a lot of action, like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z really does not have, I don't know, the storyline to it is kind of just yeah. We're, we weren't going. Here's a villain. We're going to go beat his ass. Yeah, I feel like I feel like <laughs> Z. I, I love it though, dude. I mean, it catches my attention. I love the fights in it. I mean, look at. I mean, I like Baki. I mean, Baki's a great anime because I mean the storyline to it is there's really. I mean, it's kind of there's a one way storyline. The dude wants to be the greatest fighter. He wants to surpass his dad. Right. And to, to go along, there's a lot of action in it. I mean, yeah, it's, I it's mean, pretty like it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's really not a lot of twists and turns into the the, the storyline to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, but the, the action is what very much derived that's what you go from for. it. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, he's, in order to have that storyline, you have to have the action. There's no way around having a fighting anime or anything like that that, well, if he doesn't fight, well, where does the story go? Yeah. Like, he can't improve if he doesn't fight. Yeah. So, like, going back to Z, I feel like there should be two separate categories when talking about a story, in air quotes, in an anime. You should have, like, there's a st- like there's story-driven animes, and there's saga-driven animes. What do you mean by saga? So, you know, like, saga. You have the... I know what saga means. Yeah, yeah but like, the, like you, you have the, the you have the Saiyan saga, the, you know, the Frieza saga, but it doesn't revolve around one main like like story or focus the it changes season to season i get what you're saying yeah and i, I feel i feel like it's there like there's a determination between the the two different styles so that's kind of like like code geass for example like it's has a it has a really a set plot he wants to get japan back for the or get the Japan back from the 11s, which are you know Japanese, he wants to you know free them from the Britannian Empire. Yeah, but he also wants to like throw overthrow the Britannian Empire. Uh huh. And like you can go from different season to season, but the the thing's still the same. I mean, yeah the the show the show is still is still Code Geass or Dragon Ball Z, but the the focus season to season. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying Where, too. Like, like a story driven anime, like throughout the entire. It is a story driven s- anime. Yeah, it has yeah. a lot of twists and turns in it. I mean, there's some stuff that throws like you don't. Even, I, I think of like it for me. A story driven anime is it has stuff hidden from you that's waiting to be shown to you later on in the series. Like you're like, oh, dude, okay, this makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It. <laughs> It all the I know I know what you're saying all the all the loose ends and knots get tied together yeah. at the end. Beats it blew through me, dude. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even hear it. I had my headphones oh, on. Really bad. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was cute. <laughs> but like that's what that's what I like configure by like a story anime. Like it has it has twists and turns into it and stuff like that. Like I says, it has a little bit of drama and stuff. And but like it doesn't have to have that. But to me, that's what I prefer. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you look at most, like, you got pretty much the same premise. Any Like, I've noticed with a lot of storylines through animes, like, it's 
you'll have multiple. They have the exact same storyline. And you've watched one that you've like gotten attached to. And then you go to watch the next one and realize, oh, cool. This is the same show. I just got different characters that I got to get attached <laughs> to. Yeah. Okay. I, I can see that. Yeah. More or less. I think I think the reason I like short like thirteen episode oh, anime yeah. is because their storylines I feel like are more thought out because they don't have they don't well, they don't they don't they don't have twelve seasons that they have to plan for in the future. So they can really bring in the audience for those thirteen episodes and then you get the feeling, you know, after you finish those episodes you well, just have that empty feeling inside. <laughs> I feel like they're not all drawn out, dude. If you don't have to draw the, you don't have to draw the whole exactly like series out. You can short it down and make it a lot better. To me, I don't like One Piece just because it's way too long and it gets boring. Dude, I I got through. I watched it when I was younger. I liked it, dude. It was really fun to watch. Then I got older. Then I try to watch it again, and I'm like, dude, this is so bad. It's such like, a commitment to like. I got have to, to even start it if you wanted to. Dude, I got to Thriller Bark, and it took forever just to end it. I swear, dude, I watched it for, I don't know, dude, two months it seemed like, and uh, I was watching it on like Toonami, and like it never ended, dude. I, I can literally not watch it for two, probably two, three weeks, and I can get back into watching it, and it's the same thing. Right. Nothing has changed. I'm not talking. About, I'm not talking. I'm talking about missing like two or three episodes worth, and I can just watch it and it'd be the same. Like nothing. Nothing's happened. Nothing's changed. Yeah, see, <laughs> that just sounds I'm like, like extremely gosh. drawn out filler that shouldn't be there. That's what that sounds. It's like. the NASCAR of anime, <laughs> oh, boy. dude. It never ends. I mean, they just keep taking left turns in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep going around in circles. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I know it has. I'm not saying it's a garbage anime because it has a big following. But like huge following, I think yeah. of it how I th- how I thought of like the Big Bang Theory. I love the beast. I love to watch the Big Bang Theory. But it, there's only so much more you can do to it. Just after a while, like you just need to end it. Yeah. Like there's nothing more you can do with this with the whole series. Just end it. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you keep putting out, to me, the less it's going to be, the worse it's going to be off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I feel about it. But like, but like, like I said, some some anime are like more action driven than it is plot driven you know what i'm saying yeah. or some of it's more art style driven too i think some i think some are yeah. I, I like demon slayer like i think it has a good it has a good storyline i think but i think a lot of people watch it for like the action and like the art style to it i mean the art style to yeah. demon slayer is pretty dope yeah, it, dude it's it's gorgeous artwork I mean, there's <laughs> no way around that like they they put some time and effort into that artwork I mean, I'm just saying. I definitely, I definitely feel like artwork is a huge factor as well when when wanting to watch an anime. Because if I if I watch an anime and it has like like that's that's kind of one of the reasons that it's, I feel like some people it's hard to get into like Yu Yu Hakusho, for instance. Dude, I love Yu Yu Hakusho. I love Yu Yu Hakusho, <laughs> but but I've heard a lot of people who said it's just not for them just because of the of the grainy like low res art. I love that style artwork better than yeah, the I mean, ones. That, <laughs> that's just that's me, though. the old style artwork. That's what, that's I mean. For, for sure, for sure. Most, like, yeah, I mean, is. 90 babies. And a lot of those are, are like, the, nor- the and a lot of those people are, like, the normie anime watchers who watch, you know, like, yeah. like My Hero Academia, yeah. like, the, like, the new, like, new anime watchers. Like, that's all they've ever seen. I'm like, a lot of these people are going to this 3D, like, fighting and stuff, or just 3D in general, and it, it's so... Bad. It's so garbage, dude. I cannot stand it. What? Like, what? What do you like? Because obviously you've seen the new Broly movie in yeah. the Dragon Ball, and they did that 3D. They did it in, in Z. Yeah. Uh, Battle of Z too. Yeah. There's very little of it, yeah. and they did it a little bit in Resurrection F too when he fought yeah. Frieza. Yeah. I did not like it. Oh, stop! Stupid. <laughs> See, I'm okay with it as long as it's not the whole series. Like, I don't want every single fight oh, for scene sure. to be, oh, well, here, we're going to throw, throw the 3D at you, and that's what you have. I hate the 3D, dude. It's so bad. I mean, I think- it, it does. It looks really bad have compared you, to the... Yeah, have you seen it, Ruby? Because it's a cartoon. No, I haven't. Have you seen parts of Ruby? I, I've seen, I, I've seen like, trailers and stuff of Ruby, like, but I haven't, like, seen Doesn't it do the 3D fighting in there? Uh, it, it, or just three. I think that's. I think that's just their animation style. I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. That makes me not want to watch it. Like, <laughs> no, it's it's animation it's, style is like I guess garbage, really dude. Nowhere near my favorite. 
I st I've seen parts of that guy work. Like, dude, you need to watch Ruby. I'm like, I'm not watching that garbage looking animation they have going on there, dude. But once, once, you, like Ruby is one of those animes that have a huge following. Really? Yeah. Can't see Ruby, how. Dude. Ruby has a major following. I think that stems from like it being Achievement Hunter, uh, because that it's like their brand, right? It's like their people who did that. Well, that was Rooster Teeth. Ro Rooster Teeth, Achievement Hunter, and Rooster Teeth go like hand in hand or whatever. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's kind of where that where that following came from is like people jumped over from that community to there. And so that's why a lot of people are really into that. And I, th I think it's what on, is it on Netflix now? Ruby? I have no idea, dude. I can't remember if it is now, but I, I think it's on a few like major streaming platforms and stuff. And a, and a lot of people probably checked it out and liked it, but yeah, but like uh, a lot of that 3d, a lot of that 3d stuff. I just, <laughs> I just do not like, like I say, in Baki, I love Baki, dude. But they throw some like, 3D fighting in there. I'm just like, oh my gosh, dude. Just just don't do this. <laughs> just do the regular fight scenes in 2D, dude, and it'll be way better. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're going to pick up a manga and see, oh, well, they got 3D. It's 3D. That's how they're doing the fight scene in the manga. No, the manga's never going to be 3D right. unless it's stylized like that from the game. I just hope go. this doesn't become an ongoing trend where they just start switching stuff over to this because that would really... Yeah, really make me sad. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's a cartoon. Let it be. Let it be that. It's anime, bro. It's it's anime. Yes, but it's it's still in in the literal sense of the word. Oh, people chew you about the comments. Say it's anime, not cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> it is it, in the literal sense of the word. It's a cartoon. Let me ask you something this here. Since we're talking about like uh, artwork and stuff, like, can you watch a show that has terrible character designs? I mean, like the person looks retarded. I mean, yeah, but it has to have a good plot. Like, there's really, yeah. Like, have you have you ever seen? Uh, I haven't. I haven't personally seen uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but I it, think they I'll, look pretty cool, though, dude. I, I like the way the characters look. You don't like the way JoJo they, 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 look? They, they look really weird. Have you oh seen, my god, like, dude! No, they, really no, look dude, weird, man. no. They got I some, like JoJo. They got Bizarre some Adventures. funky, some funky characters in that show, man. I've seen I've seen a lot of a lot of like clips and stuff of the show and it's funny. I like JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is good. It's like Space Dandy. I love Space Dandy. Space Dandy was so good, but the character was so weird, Who? man. Who? Space Dandy? Yes, he was so weird. That's a character like that's his like personality. I, I'm talking about the, the way that he's drawn. Well, I, yeah, but that's also their character. Oh man! Like I'll... in order to like a character, you gotta like everything about them: their personality, right. their artwork, everything. All man. right, Jonathan. So you're telling me you think that's weird, but yet when we grew up, you watched freaking bo 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 bo. No, I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you're I telling did. me, dude. Oh man, Space Daddy's Space Daddy's weird, but no, See, bo bo's cool. <laughs> I never watched bo bo bo. I watched bo 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 bo. That's weird, weird. Weird anime, dude. I mean, I don't want to watch a guy that's got a blonde afro and like nose hairs coming out. Freaking, yeah, I guess uh, nose hairs. I thought it was a mustache. No, but it's nose, nose hairs, hairs that come out it. and they're like whips. That's that's weird, man. I watched it. It wasn't bad. It, was, it made me laugh. I ain't gonna lie. But then again, I watched any anime that was on Toonami because I liked it. I mean, I was like, all right, bo 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 bo. I'll watch this. <laughs> I'm like, this ain't bad. It's a little weird, but ain't bad. Yeah. Like that's one of those shows. Like okay. For instance, there's what's the storyline behind blah 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 blah? Really nothing, but it has a lot of action in it. That's why people watch it. Yeah. Like Cowboy Bebop, I mean, it has it has a good storyline to it. I'm sure. I, I haven't seen Cowboy Bebop, but it's I know it's rated pretty high on you know different sides. Me personally, I mean, I never could get into it, but they say it has a pretty good storyline to it. So I think it, this action to it, I mean, not really a whole lot from, from what I can from what I watched of it. Yeah, and I mean. Not all anime are also the whole action base show is one storyline. Well, like Space Dandy, oh, it's yeah. each episode is its own storyline. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And I mean, that's how like you could jump in at any point and well, here you can watch it from there because there was no main storyline to follow in the first place. Do you it's like just? Do you like ones? Do you like series like that? Yeah, I'm I'm perfectly fine with. That's like Rick and Morty. It's the exact same style. Oh yeah, it's what about every like, episode's different. Like Fooly Cooly, you ever seen that? I have not seen Fooly Cooly. I've also never seen Fooly Cooly. Y'all are fucking lame, dude. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. <laughs> Uh, like, Sorry, uh, some of us can't watch every anime. In oh existence. my god, yeah, like like, like, like I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Like, uh, 
I, I think like each it kind of depends like you talk about the storyline and being important i think it kind of just depends on what you're getting yourself into like i think you can look at anime and you start watching it you should pretty much know if it's story if it's story driven or kind of like action driven like if it's more story driven then i think the storyline does make a big you know part of the show because that's pretty much what it's about yeah that, but that's like my hero academia though like i it have, does have a story i have to no it. clue what the storyline is yeah. if it's a storyline that i don't personally like well then i'm never gonna i agree like it so i mean obviously we're all different in the whole well this storyline appeals to me this one doesn't so, and i mean everybody is gonna have their own opinion on it but when it's a universal thing like oh well the yeah. storyline is terrible, or it has a lack of storyline. It's just all action. There's no reason for me to even think about watching. So, anime. are you more story based driven or action based driven or like uh, art driven? Um, I'm a mix. I want a good art, but I also want a good story. Action, it can be there. It could be minimalistic, but I gotta have a little action in it. But if it doesn't, I could. I can always try it. What about you, Reese? What do you got to have? Uh, personally, for me, story is everything. If it doesn't have a good story, I'm not going to be committed to it. it I, like, I'm not going to watch a UFC fight in anime form. You know what I mean? Like, it, oh, I would. I have to. I, have to. <laughs> I definitely would, dude. It, if it had a story behind it, I bet you would. The story is beat this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's the story, dude. Yeah, but, you know, why Why? Is, why did this guy become a fighter, you know? Why Why is he in the ring? You know, what What, what is his come up, you know? Like, that, that'd that be all the questions I'd, I'd have, you know, like, why watching an anime like that if it didn't have a story? Well, like, why? Why is he doing this? Exactly. What, what came I'm not. I'm not, I mean, I'm not just going to watch anything. Yeah, I'm not just going to watch so, like, that. Him just saying that I just want to be the best is not good enough. That personally, no. Personally, for me, yeah. That that's good th enough. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. What about you? Obviously, I'm more action based. I gotta have fighting and stuff. I gotta I gotta have a lot of like I guess you'd say Michael Bay stuff in there. <laughs> like that's how I am. But I also like to have good. I have to have good artwork too. And if there's a little bit of a storyline to it, I do like it. But I am more action based. But if there's really, I guess if there is literally no storyline, then for me personally, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to get into it too. But I like to have a lot of action in it and stuff. But like, uh, like My Hero Academia, I've been trying to really watch it, but it has like terrible, terrible character designs. Like they're the way they look and stuff are just some of them look so stupid. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't get into it. Yeah. But I, I well, I've been watching the show recently. It's it's not been bad. I'm kind of looking, trying to look past that and stuff. But that's me. I'm more action based. Let's go ahead and get into the uh, next topic, though. Uh, so I have an IMDb page pulled up here with the with the highest ranked anime um, according to their users' listings, and uh, we kind of want to go through and see uh, whether if they're overrated or underrated compared to their list. Yeah. yeah. So the first one on their list is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's uh, rated at a nine point one. I can see that. I mean. I I like Full Metal Alchemist. 9.1? <sighs> I mean, yeah, I really like this series. I mean, I give it a 9. So, I mean, I, I think that's pretty well pretty well right. Oh, yeah. I mean... Story's amazing. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Full Metal Alchemist I haven't should seen both it. be relatively close in that. Well, I think I think brother, I think the regular original Oh, yeah, I better, think but, that I mean, Full Metal I love should be Full higher metal. than Brotherhood. It, I like Brotherhood, though. I think that's about right. That's probably yeah. one of my favorite animes. Next one they got on their list is Death Note and 9. I pers I personally like Death Note. I think it has. I think in terms of um, storyline, it's good. I don't know. I think that's a little too high. I think that's probably. I guess I'd be a little overrated. I guess, but uh, I think it should be at like I don't know seven maybe. That's my opinion. I mean, I think it's the storyline's good and stuff, but I don't know, man. I just I, I don't. You think it should be lower down on this list? Yeah, I don't think it's all that. I guess. It's good. It's good. I definitely. Can I say see, a seven. I, I say seven is still good. Seven point five. I, I, oh, for sure, I for sure. I, and I think I think I can see where a lot of the a lot of the IMDb users are are coming from when they when they rate it so high. I think it's rated so high because it's like some of the first anime some people have seen, like in the newer generation. I think it's definitely a really popular one. What that was like? When did it come out? Like what? Two thousand something? Two thousand six. Two thousand six. So I mean, it's kind of. When you have these newer kids, I guess newer millennials, I guess, that are like 19 and stuff, that's kind of probably what they'd be watching. 
but started watching. <clears throat> now this one kind of surprises me. Dude. Number three is One Punch Man. I love One Punch Man. I I, I totally agree with that. I like One Punch Man. I think it's an eight point nine. You think it's an eight point nine? Dude, I like I, I, what? I do, I do, dude. man. I do like One Punch Man. man. That's why one of the newer animes I actually like. Like so. I'm more like around like six point five seven. Oh, bro, you're, I do not you're, like One you're Punch crazy, Man dude. at all. You're crazy, like, I, man. I, I, I just think it's boring. I think I it's think it's, it's a over it's a weird over over it's again. a weird concept for an anime. I feel like it's just a guy who punches stuff once. Okay, how, how much have you done. seen of it? Not very much. Okay. It's not just based around him. It has other characters in there. The show is actually pretty funny, dude, and it has a lot of action in it too. It's some of the like, okay, like terrible tornado. I mean, it shows you some of her power. How like amazing some of these other people are too. Like it's not just to- solely based around One Punch Man. I like the comedy behind it, and I, I kind of like how it shows like some of the villains and how they interact with like some of the heroes and like how they compare to each other. But, so, so what you're saying? It's not a Krillin spinoff show. No, <laughs> no. But it, I, I do like One Punch Man. I, I think it's pretty good. You, you think it deserves the 8.9 spot at number three? 8.9, probably not 8.9. I would give it like an eight, but like maybe not 8.9. Okay. Next one. Next one is an oldie. Uh, Cowboy Beat Bop at an 8.9. Uh, number four on the list. I don't really watch Cowboy Beat Bop, so yeah, it never I, was I my think thing. I've maybe seen like. Three or four episodes. Yeah, I never really got it. Apparently, has one of the best openings in in any anime. What the, I mean, the, uh, the Cowboy Bebop. You talking about the opening song? Yeah. What? It's all right. Initial D. Initial D has the best theme song. Who? Uh, Initial D. Uh, you don't know Initial it's D? A, it's a race car. Like it's a street racing show. No, dude. Deja no. vu is like <laughs> deja crazy. vu. I was out of the space before. It's, you, know, you never. It's, oh. it's oh. easily one of the most popular. Who's, big, who's big sings that? Uh, Good question. I thought it was initial. <laughs> I thought I felt like an is initial D not the name of the people I, as see, well. I have no clue. I thought I thought those were all, that was also the name see, of the artist, but maybe not. D, well, uh, let's let them sing that, bro. <laughs> 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 I just mess with you, dude. Uh, what's the next one? Number five, Hunter X Hunter, also at an eight point nine. A lot of these are very close in Hunter rating. X Hunter. I remember watching like the first season. I mean, it was. I mean, it was okay. No, I mean, if you're That's, going off the first two seasons, sure. I'd give yeah. it an eight point nine, but once you get past that first hold on, hold two on, hold seasons, on. it's not that great. My biggest thing with Hunter X Hunter is is like I don't like the character designs of these people. I don't like the way Gon looks. I think he looks retarded. Yeah, they could have done a lot better on and like him. the Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird looking style yeah, for sure. I just don't I don't care for that dude. I mean, I have to have that's my saying. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is I have to have the characters to at least look somewhat decent looking. I can't have them looking dumb. You don't like you don't like the outlandish looks that that they give them. I don't know what you call that dude, but it's weird. <laughs> I just dude looks like he's wearing rain on nine one one shorts, man. I mean, I don't, <laughs> the, 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 the dangle shorts. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to say, dude, but yeah, I mean, eight was it eight point nine? I mean, from what I've 8. seen, 9. I'd give it maybe a six or a six point five. I'd be man. somewhere I think it's around overrated. six six point five. I mean. But then again, I haven't the seen the seasons. whole. I haven't seen the whole entire series, so I know they say they got some of the of the greatest fighting in there from uh, the guy with the long earlobes. I don't know the guy's name. So and this dude who looks a lot a lot like a spinoff of Cell. Yeah, I've, <laughs> see, I've I've seen it, and I but, mean, I'm not too thrilled with it. So I mean, that, I, that's why I give it six point five, and that's it. But I mean, it all. it's got a pretty big fan base. So I yeah, mean, it does. yeah. Not saying it's bad. I'm just saying not my cup of tea. The next on their list at number six is Attack on Titan with a rating of eight point eight. I can agree to that. I like I like I like my Attack on Titan, dude. It's I like, gotten the manga like in the later in the manga right now where it's caught up at. It's actually pretty good, dude. You really need to watch it. I know some people don't like the first season, but it's really really good. It has a really good storyline. It has a lot. The characters have a lot a lot of depth in them. I mean, they have a they did a really good job on some of these characters. It gives them a lot of backstory to them. You kind of some of these people who are, are kind of you would think would be villains, but it gives you perspective on like their lives that they live and kind of why they do the things that they do. So it's not like a one-dimensional character. Like it, it gives you a lot of stuff behind them. Kind of like Reiner, it tells you about his backstory, and like you think, oh man, this dude here, he's a pretty bad guy. But you look at seeing how he was raised and stuff, and it kind of makes you wonder, like, okay, would I have done the same thing as he he's done, or I would have done it differently? Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff behind these characters, 
And not to mention, just the storyline to it is really great, too. It's kind of based off, like, that Ragnarok type of uh, mythology to it. Yeah. Like, North, you know, talking about, like, that Northic mythology. We got, like, Ragnarok and the ending and stuff like that. That's kind of what it's more or less based off of. Uh-huh. It's pretty good. I'd rank it at 8.8. <laughs> is, is that a similar vote that you'd give it to uh, me? See, I, I've only seen season one. I haven't watched any more after that. See, that's the exact same boat I'm in. But... Give With it a chance. Season one, I wasn't thrilled. I mean, if I'm going to rank it off of just one season, that would be unfair. See, It'd be unfair of me to actually rank it off of, oh, well, I've only seen season one, so I, it was bad, but season two's great, but I don't know that because I haven't seen it. I, I, I kind of give that to you. I, I kind of almost gave up on season one at first, but uh, I rewatched it and stuff, and it just kind of watched further into it. It got really good. Like season three... I think it's where it really, really starts to get really good. Really good. My bad. And uh, I think y'all should give it another chance. But I, I feel like I watched the second season. Um, and then, hey, and then I fell, it fell off because I think I was at the point where new episodes were not yet released for, for, the, for the show. So I kind of lost its uh, interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I okay, kind of lost, I I lost my interest in that. Now, how, did y'all ever get to the basement? The basement. I've n- I've never gotten to the basement. See, that's where you all need to get to. If y'all get past the basement part, you you tell me you don't like it, then I mean I can understand. But if y'all haven't got there yet, you all really should watch it till you get to that point before you make a judgment on the show. It's really good. I think I think where, when I left off is when the female Titan started. Uh, yeah, you're to, way to, beca- be, to, to become a, a a big deal. Yeah, you're way back, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. been it's been a while. I know a lot of stuff has come out since since the time I watched it. Uh, n- number seven on their list is Steins Gate. I know a little bit about this one. I know it's kind of like, I think it's kind of like a, a game thing or something. I, I can't really, I can't really comment on this one. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah. So I think we're just going to skip over that one. But number eight, uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion, 8.6. How's that the TV show or just, uh, this is, this is the main, uh, this is season one. I think that's underrated. You, you think you think that's underrated? Yes, I do for sure. I I definitely I like. Think I think it should be a nine. Yeah, Code Geass I think is one of one of the best. Uh, you're, you're talking about sto- plot lines, storylines, character yeah. development. We was just talking about storylines and stuff. That has got to be one of the best storylines, and it has the best ending in all anime. That's uh, controversial for some people. Uh, for me, I I'm not gonna disagree with you. I really like the Code Geass storyline. I think. Uh, what is it? it? Has what the most highest rated ending? Yeah, it is and, and the all, highest rated ending. It's like a nine point six or in all anime. So I think like that's that. like tops probably most. Anim- it's it's an amazing anime, dude. If anyone has never seen it, you need to watch yeah, it. it. It's definitely one of those. It's that one I of those really want to finish. It's like, one of those I'm short excited. animes too. So it's like okay, I grew up, dude, watching this. Like I could not miss one episode. And if I miss one episode, I would not know what was going on in the next episode. Like you had to watch every single episode to know what's going on. Yeah, it's not like you can you can skip you can skip that one and and kind of figure out what's going on in the next one. But no, it's something different and new every time. Well, it's just you have to watch it. Just everything ties in together. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really great. That's the same thing with Attack on Titan. That's another why I really think it was rated so high too. Is because it's you look at something in the very beginning and everything ties into everything towards the very end. Like there's it, it giving you subtle hints and subtle clues all the way to the very end. And that's what I think why it's it's, it's rated so high and why I think it should be rated so high too. But yeah, Code Geass, yeah, definitely underrated. Should be a nine. The the next one uh, on the list here, uh, number and number nine, One Piece with an eight point seven. Overrated, dude. Overrated. I don't like One Piece. Not really. I have, I mean I can understand why the fan base because it's. It's kind of one of them shows people watch when you're a kid. Yeah. And like, oh, man, I watched this when I was a kid. I love this show. And I just keep watching it. Well, I mean, but it's, it's it's one of the longest running animes on right now. It's what? Right? The most. I think, isn't it? Isn't it the, best like selling the anime? longest? Or is I, that I'm not? Yes. I'm not sure on if it's the longest now, or not. I mean, I know it's it's been going for a long time. Well, the show, it show like, helps itself. Like, it's, it's made to be a long-running anime. But... I feel like, like I said before, it kind of reminds me of the Big Bang Theory. I think it goes on so long, but it has to be a point where it has to end, and it needs to end now because it's yeah. not getting any better. It, it should reach its end. It should I have mean, ended a long time ago. That's definitely the biggest to. hit that this show takes. Well, I say, was it isn't the most best-selling manga of all time? I would assume. Uh, I, I know it's huge, like because I've been I've been overseas to China. It's everywhere in China. 
But I feel like it's just if you pump, it's like anything else. If you push out a bunch of it, then you're going to get a people, lot of people yeah. are going to buy it. I mean, yeah. if they if they love the story, they love their uh, it sells. They they love it. They're going to buy it. I mean, yeah, and it it does sell. Yeah, but, but I, I can agree <laughs> with you. Uh, it's definitely overrated. the cool. The length is the main hit towards it. What would you rate it? <sighs> I'd probably rate it six point five. That low? Oh my gosh, dude! I give it a seven at least. If, if we were oh if we were talking if we were talking like season oh, one, season man. two, it'd be way higher up there. My favorite character in the whole entire series in that show was that Hawkeye Mihawk. I thought he was pretty cool. No, Rozo, man. Rozo, what? Rono Rozaro? Yeah, I mean, he was all right. I mean, I think he's okay, but I like Ronnie Kenshin hey, better. Than I like him. <laughs> anybody that can hold a sword in his mouth has got my vote. What? You like holding swords in your mouth? Um, yeah. He likes holding something if, in his mouth. If you're going to hold the sword in your <laughs> mouth, you, you've got some talent if you're holding the sword in your you mouth. you got a lot of talent, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and well, num- the next one? And number 10 on IMDb is Berserk. Never seen this one. All right. Yeah. James probably wishes he was here. He yeah. loves that show, but I've never seen it. Berserk is good. It's It really is a good... It's, like, really heavy on action. Like, I mean, it's... Something I'd like, it's you think? easily got the most violent scene in all of anime. Really? Yeah. It's it's got the most blood and gore I've ever seen in an anime. You said violent though, but Yeah, it, it Have is. Have you seen Goblin Slayer? I haven't seen Goblin Slayer, but like Watch those episode are 1. Crazy. Watch episode 1 Goblin Slayer and you come back and tell me that's no, the most I'm just, brutal. I'm telling <laughs> you, watch man, the first 5 that, minutes of Goblin yeah. Slayer. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> that blood and gore that it it now, has in it. Do you think I like it? You might. I mean, you might. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but it is it is a good one. I've never seen it. I'm, I, I'll have to give it a chance. It's an oldie. It's no, I mean, looks like a Super Saiyan watching, One Punch Man. I tried watching. Well, that's what the, the, the cover art to that looks like <laughs> that. But, I mean, it's... Oh, hell, I was going to say something I forgot. But, whatever. But, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to watch it. But, but I mean, with I an 8.6, I still think it's overrated. I mean, that, that, I think that 8.6 would be overrated. I mean, oh, I give it yeah. somewhere yeah. around a 7.5. I, I mean... Isn't it on Netflix? Uh, no, sure they yeah. have movies. They have movies. But isn't it like in 3D? There. The newer, oh the newer God, movies dude, that throws are, me off, yeah. dude. But so, but so, but, is, but so is super. But the old school Berserk, really, I don't think if I, I can't really remember if it was all 3D like that or not. But I mean, made back in the 90s, you wouldn't expect it to be. 3D. There's one show I really want to watch, and I've been trying to find it, but it's always in Japanese. I mean, I, I can watch stuff in Japanese. This is the North Star. This is the North Star. I want to watch it so yeah. bad, dude. But I have, I can't find an English dub. That's one, one series I really want to watch, but <clears throat> it's hard. I just don't want to watch it in Japanese. So, I mean, so, uh, I, sub, I sub's hard to do. You can't you can't do other things when you're when you're when you're watching a sub. Oh my god, that's way low. Oh my god, I mean, do we need to talk about number eleven in this dude? <laughs> number eleven, underrated Dragon Ball Z, underrated eight point seven, so, underrated dude, so underrated. It's not even funny. I mean, it's 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 a classic. It should is, be uh, higher than Full Metal Alchemist. It should be like a nine point five or nine point I mean, six. You, you would think that it would be. I mean, in our opinion, obviously it would be, but. There's a lot of people that don't follow it. Dragon Ball Z? Who? Yeah. There there are people out there that do not oh, follow it. I don't know, man. They live under a rock. You not never heard e- Dragon not Ball. everybody likes the action shows. I yeah. mean, it's it's not... I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it. I, I absolutely love Dragon Ball Z. It, it'll always be one of my favorites. I mean, it's it's always going to be ranked highest out of all animes that I watch. Someone walked up to me and told me my hero Academia is better than Dragon Ball Z. I'll tell them they never watch anime in their life, dude. <laughs> or they come up and say like Bleach is better. Or you don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, number it's th- definitely underrated. What do you think, Reese? You think that's overrated or underrated? Dragon Ball Z. Yes, at an eight point seven. Uh, underrated for sure. What do you think it should be rated at? Like I, I, I feel like it should be at least a nine, a nine point five. Yeah. What do you think, Dragon dude? Ball Z I, I classic? I mean, I know that it. it it can easily have one of the biggest fan bases. I mean, throughout all the series. Well, here's my thing, dude. It's at rated 8.7, but yet it has its own day in Japan. Dragon Ball Day in Japan. Does it really? I'm pretty sure. Never heard of this. Yeah. I'm I need, sure I, it does. I need to look this up. Yeah. I feel like it's something I need, need to get We need to make behind. that official in America. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> number, number 12. Uh... Ru- Ruruni Kenshin. Kenshin, trust and betrayal. Yeah. Never, never seen this. Uh, that's that's the whole series. Oh, is it? Yeah, I like it. I mean, Eight point six. I think it has some Her- probably the best uh, swords fighting in it that I've ever seen. So it, it's a sword fighting anime. Yes. What is it? Is it? Is it? I don't. 
Cerrone can't. No, that's not. That's a movie. No, that that's a movie. Uh, I've never seen a movie. No, I see. I haven't seen the movie, but I know the series. I mean, the series is. What's this rated? Crazy. This is rated eight point six. I don't know. I don't know about about it then. So it's probably overrated then. Overrated? Probably overrated. If 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 I've never heard of it, I feel like it's probably overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, I mean, I, I get your I opinion, mean, bro. That's, that's I mean, true. who knows? I mean, it could I be. I mean, go down, scroll down. But then again, one. I've never seen. I've never heard of Berserk either. So I've heard of Berserk. I've just never, never watched. Yeah. It. Number thirteen. Oh your my lion god! April. No, we just yeah. talking about this, dude. <laughs> you're, you're lying, April. Eight point six. Oh my god! All Definitely right. underrated. All right. I've never seen this show, but I feel like I have to say this is overrated because I cannot watch a show that's nothing but musicals. Like if I want to watch you th- something, you think it's nothing but musicals, but it has so much like it, it's it's. <laughs> I think we were talking about this a while ago it, it's, off air. It's a drama. I cannot. I don't like animes that are just straight up like real life based. Like I I gotta have some kind of sci fi or something into my anime to make it good. If I want to watch this, I can just go out and run a chick flick and be and get the same thing out of it. <laughs> You you think it's a Hallmark anime? I think yes. I think you can probably put this on Hallmark and it'd probably sell like hotcakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably some four kid stuff, dude. I th- I think I mean what what would you what? Obviously, you can't give it a rating because you've never seen the oh, show. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'll give it a four. I'll give it like a four. Oh, you give it like a four? <laughs> yes, dude. This is this right here is a disgrace. <laughs> what you're lying, April at thirteen above. What you got, Shamrock Shampoo at fifteen. Tell me that's better than Shamrock Shamblow. You're crazy, dude. You're but crazy. Not, I've but never a lot of these Shamrai are Shamblow. having the same rating of those. Well. How many people? What's, so, I mean, what's the votes just, on this? It's uh, more like they're tied. 1,100? 11,000. 11,000. Oh, my God. But that's also if very I watch, If I watch this on Netflix, Netflix, I'll be ashamed of themselves even putting this on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, would, I would give it a higher rating. Uh, I would, 8. 8. 8. 8. 6, what would you give it? A I, 9? I, no, I'd probably give it like an 8.8. 8. I think it should. Oh I think God, it should be no, above. Dude, you're crazy. I think it should be above a couple of these that we've mentioned. Name one. I uh, this one. Uh, Ruru. How can you say that you've never seen it? How can you give my rating <laughs> if you've never seen it? That's what I'm saying, though. I mean, you asked me the same question. Um, give me one you've seen. Tell me one you've I'd, seen. I, I would put. I would put it above One Piece personally. I'd put it above oh, One Piece. I hope you I'm, get I'm flamed say, in I'm the say, comment section. I'm bro. saying that right now. I'd put it above One Piece. You probably put it above Kogia or Steins Gate. I've never seen Steins Gate. I think I think I think it could See, probably out. You're lying, out April. Steins Gate. I I don't think I'd. Would you give it an eight point six? I wouldn't give it an eight point six. What would you give it? It would probably be an eight flat. I do think that is overrated, but the story for the whole show is it's just it's really good, and it gets you attached to the characters, and that's the main reason it's probably got that eight point six rating. Yeah. It's and because it's got them attached to it. My my thing the thing that I love about your line, April. Is is it has compositions from popular, from popular like pianists and probably Who? violinists. Chopin for one. Chopin, very popular uh, pianist. Mm. Well, but yeah, uh, overrated for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Underrated. <laughs> Number fourteen though. Monster. Never heard of this one. I never even heard I of Monster. No, dude. So it's obviously overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, dude. I've <laughs> never heard. That's of That's at it, least so. a two. I'll give uh, it a one. <laughs> Uh, fifteen. Uh, Samurai Ch- Ch- you know, Champloo. I just talked about Samurai Champloo, saying it's better than my my lie in April, but I'd give that at least a seven. I think it's overrated for an eight point five. I think it's overrated for an eight point five. Yes, I think it should be like a seven. You know, I think I've only seen like two episodes of it. I I, I mean, I know I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't but bad. It, two episodes. I'm in, not saying it's bad. You're not gonna but enjoy. I think it should be a seven. Like you got to give a show more than two episodes to get into it. So I mean, I wouldn't know anything about trying to rank that. You think so? Yeah, I got nothing on that one. Number sixteen on the IMDb list: Full Metal Alchemist, Non Brotherhood. Uh, the original, rated at an eight point six. The 2003 version. I think it should be. It's definitely underrated. I think it should be above Brotherhood, but I think it should be at least a nine or a nine point two. I really like full of the original one. Oh yeah, I mean, in that. Even I don't know. I don't know. I say nine. I say nine. It's it's very underrated. I mean, for that, it's and for Brotherhood, I, I would say an eight point nine. I know I said it's probably about right, but I mean, I guess I wouldn't consider Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood overrated, but I don't think it's that high. So I think full of the original is better because, like I told you all before, I really like the tragedy in Full Metal Alchemist and like the drama in it and stuff. 
and like they really love the like the the characters and like their backstories yeah. a lot better than I did Brotherhood. But oh, yeah. Brotherhood had a better ending, I think, than Full Metal Alchemist. Did. Oh yeah, by all means. And, and I mean, I think Brotherhood had better movies as well. But I think Brotherhood uh, had some better characters than a uh, Full Metal Alchemist, the 2003 version. Like with the Crimson Alchemist, I think he was better in Brotherhood than he was in the original. If you don't know, maybe if you don't remember him, he's the one who killed Scar's brother. Yeah. Spoilers. Maybe I wanted to go. Maybe I was gonna go home and watch Full Metal Alchemist tonight. I mean, still you, can. you still should. <laughs> I recommend you, dude. I mean, you watch. You're lying, April. What do you got to lose, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you watch but, Shamra- Sh- Samurai Shampoo. You watch. You samurai. can't even say it right. Hey, you watch <laughs> Sham- Samurai Shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, you need to go take a shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jonathan. But uh, let's go look at number. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely say that's underrated. What are you saying, Reese? You ever seen it? Never seen it. C- can't. I don't really oh, have an right. opinion. What about you? Neon Ge- Genesis? No, 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 no. no. Full, Metal. Metal Full Metal. Oh yeah, by all means, that's underrated. I think it's that's definitely that's is. way underrated for that. But uh, number seventeen on the list, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, personally, I think that score is probably about right. Oh yeah, by all uh, means, that is that's probably dead on for that show. I mean. It's not the best show in the world. It's not the worst show in yeah, the world. I mean, I I would easily give it an eight point five. It's it's it is that eight point five. Yeah, it's, it's earned its right to have it. Now it's it, just it's a good one all the way through. A little bit off topic here, but uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion versus like something like uh, what's what's the other one uh, that's like Max Gundam Gundam. That's not the best. Like no, I mean, but Gundam is one of the like in Japan. It's like super stupid popular. Stupid popular. Stupid popular. It's yeah. not that good of a show. I think like I watched it. What was it? What's the one that was on Toonami like that long ago? Uh, uh, Iron Blooded Orphan. Yes, I, I mean it's, it was all right. Honestly, what? out of all of them, that's the best one. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I'm disappointed. To me, that was <laughs> one of the best ones. I used to like love Gundam, but I. I can't even stand it anymore. It's, it's boring. the same thing every single one. To me, it yeah. was so boring. You can go watch a few episodes, and there's literally all they do is talk. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm like, come on, dude. Do something. Fight. Yeah, and you run into that a lot through all of those series. So, I mean, that's the one thing that I like about Evangelion. I mean, it's it's got the story. The artwork is amazing. The action. I mean, it's that old school. What's that? The action. Oh, yeah. And what? The action's really good in it. And what? Neon Maybe Genesis. Oh, I've never seen it, yeah. dude. So I can't. I can't give you an opinion. I think it's definitely one that you yeah. would probably enjoy. How many episodes is there? Um, what say? 1995 to 1996. I mean, yeah. In, t- in total, it's saying 624 minutes. Oh dang! It, it's it's not a short one. How many reviews? How many votes does it have? 41, that one has 41 k. Yeah. Uh, number 18 on the list. Uh, My Hero Academia. 8.5. Let me think here. It's okay. I mean, I'd give it an eight. I mean, I, I used to hate this show so bad, dude. Like I gotta say, like, look at one of those. Who, what's that guy off of? Uh, y'all ever seen Avatar: Last Airbender? Yeah, yeah. Okay, who's that? Uh, Zuko. Zuko. Prince Zuko. That dude right yeah. there is, is a rip off of Zuko. <laughs> Todoroki is a rip off of, of Zuko. The whole fire and ice. I'm probably not huh. even saying his name right, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of their quirks are dumb. Like the one. Okay, the stupidest quirk that any of them have in this show is where this guy shoots tape out of his elbows. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, dude. Like, this is really his superpower. Not the frog? Dude, you would think, no. That's <laughs> dude shooting scotch tape out of his arm. I don't know if it's scotch tape, what kind of tape it is, it but it's be duct tape, man. Duct That'd be tape. legit. Know, Maybe man. it's flex tape. I mean, <laughs> either way. You can saw boats in half all day. <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> tape back together, flex yeah. Flex tape. I mean, either way, they're But you got this guy who's, who's pretty dumb looking, and you got that uh, dude who has that balls on his head. He can throw, like, sticky balls. Oh, yeah, He's yeah, He's supposed yeah. to be like the pervert or whatever. It's, but eight point at 8.5? I guess I wouldn't say it's overrated, but I think it'd be an eight. I mean, I think that's yeah. probably. I mean, it's not a terrible show, but it's not good either. Yeah, not fantastic. I would say I f- it's I just felt like average. It, I, I felt like, like it's it really, average. It really fell off after the first like season. Yeah. Uh, number nineteen, erased. I haven't I've heard of this started, one. Never heard of you it. heard of it? I've yeah. never heard of it. Probably overrated then. <laughs> <laughs> number twenty, Naruto Shippuden, eight point five. You know, man, I um, we had this other podcast where I had Naruto rated really high. You know, after after thinking about it and stuff, of all the other anime I've seen, I wouldn't put it that high on my. T- I, don't, I don't know if I really have it in my top five anymore, but uh, maybe at five. I think a girl Logon's better than Naruto Shippuden, but eight point five. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I think I think it's pretty okay for Naruto. 
I don't think it's. I don't think it's underrated by any means. Oh no, it has it, some of the it has so much filler in the show. It's unreal, dude. Yeah, Naruto's definitely overrated. <laughs> <laughs> what would you yeah. give it, dude? Uh, four. That oh, low? Wow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude! Not, oh I'm my not, god! I'm not a fan of ninjas. What do you not like? It is this ninja? I don't. I, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like ninjas, dude. I'm, I've never been a huge fan. Some of um, my biggest problems with Naruto is he won't ever shut the hell up about Sasuke. Sasuke, Sasuke. Like every episode you watch, you cannot almost go without watching an episode with him hollering Sasuke. Which that's a big thing. At least in Shippuden, it's slowed down with the yelling of Sasuke. That's where when you no, watch no no when, no like original Naruto. I swear, it, right after Sasuke left, it's just like okay, well, that's all we're hearing for the rest of the series. It's all you hear in Shippuden is Sasuke. I got tired well, of I hearing mean, it. It does. <laughs> it happens a lot. But then Sasuke! it finally at some point it. Finally dies off. He stops. He's he's focusing on whatever else he's doing. I mean, for an eight point five, I'd I'd keep it at that eight point five. Now, if that was original Naruto at eight point five, yeah, that's I think that the would, original. That's crazy. I think the original Naruto is better than. Shippuden. Oh man, see, I like Shippuden a lot more than I liked original. See, I think Naruto, like or Naruto Shippuden. What, one thing I didn't like about it either is I feel like okay, Naruto's getting beat. Okay, sh- uh, we'll use a uh, Nine Tail Fox Cloak. And then, then, he, then he beats him. I'm just like, come on. I mean, it was it was that's pretty like, overpowered. That's like the cop out ability. for every time oh, he's yeah. losing. Oh, I'll just use a nine tail fox cloak, and I'm I'm free. <laughs> but I'd say I give it an eight. I give it an eight over an eight point five. I wouldn't say it's overrated, but I I, I think eight point five is a little high. Yeah. But I give it more than a four. But <laughs> well, we could. Uh, we I could... like the story. Like I said before, I really like the storyline to it. The storyline is really good. But... I like the the. The drama and stuff behind it and stuff. I yeah, really like it. but uh, we could be going through these lists all day. I think it's, I think now is kind of a good time to to wrap up. Oh, that's fine. I think so. All right, cool. All right, uh, guys. If you uh if you uh enjoyed this uh this this podcast uh this this ear porn, <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Like subscribe. Uh, leave the comments flaming us. Uh, if 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 you dare. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> do it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let us know. Let us know your opinions on on the different anime and uh, your 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 opinions on some of the stuff that we mentioned today. Uh, but yeah, thanks thanks everyone for tuning in, listening, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Right, peace out, dude. See you. Bye.